another video. In this one we're going to make a primitive box in our scene. Actually we're going to make two or possibly three. How exciting is that? So, um, yeah, here we go then. How hard can it be? So if we're in model quad view and we go to our basics tab of model quads then we can make a box. Click. And then down here we get um, we got all the shenanigans of how big it's going to be and whatever. Yep. Okay. And currently in this viewport, we've got this working plane. What I'm going to do, I'm going to rotate it round until it snaps down to the ground. And that means when I go and click and drag a box here, it snaps to the ground. Okay. So that's my working plane. And then I can then click on here and lift it up. Actually, not there, Stephen. Hello. Click on that bit and lift it up. There we go. That's lifting the whole box up. Ha ha ha. Right. Uh, now I can adjust the sizing of it. So I'm going to say uh, position is uh, zero. Z position is zero. So it's in the center. Um, and da, 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 da. one cheers. One cheers. Y is one. There we go. All I'm going to do now is move it up slightly to be about there okay and then hit spacebar to drop the tool we have now created a box how exciting and just to check now um, I believe that it runs a little bit like Lightwave and that um, the pivot point is by default um, set on 0 0 0 so the pivot point should be at the base of this box and the easiest way to check that out is if we are in item mode at the top here and we press the E key for rotation you'll see the rotation is in the center at the bottom okay you may or may not want that so it's there at the minute and we'll control Z that that looks hideous um, so you might want the center pivot point to be in the middle of the box well easiest way to solve that out would be just to move the box so it's in the center really wouldn't it and you wouldn't do that in item mode because you're going to take the pivot point along with it so if I hit um, the W key if I move that down then the you can see that the pivot point's also moving down. So we don't want to do that, Control Z. What we do want to do is we want to put the box in the middle of the world and leave the pivot point exactly where it is. So let's go and do that. So uh, polygons. Uh, we're going to select a polygon. Click on that guy there. If we want to select all the polygons that are connected to it, just to the left of your Enter key is the right-hand brackets key. If we press that, that selects all connected. We're going to undo that for a minute. I mean, you should be able to go and find that in select. Select. Do, 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 do. Select connected. There you go. Clickety click. Boing. We're done. So, what I want to do now is center this box in the center of the world. So, um, can't be that hard, can it? Under basic again. Uh, center selected. How about that? Click on that. All of them. Bang. Center selected. We've currently got this tool. So, let's go and drop that tool. Space bar to drop the tool again. We're done. Now let's go back to um, item mode and we'll hit the E key for rotation and rotation is now in the middle which is what we wanted and that is that. Um, oh the other thing we'll have a look at the space bar. We press the space bar quite a few times. Space bar generally is for dropping a tool but it's also selecting different types of sub objects so if I press it um, I select my polygons for instance, so I'm in sub object, and if I click out here to deselect currently, if I press my space bar, it goes to uh, vertices up here. Press my space bar again, goes to edges, space bar again, goes to polygons. Guess what's going to happen when we press space bar again? Goes back to vertices. So that's a quick way of toggling through different types of selection sets, or selections, or sub objects types. Um, and that will sort of do that. So we've made one one box at the moment, and we're currently in polygon mode. Let's go back to item mode. Item mode equals object mode, basically. Okay, so we've made one box. Let's go make another box without thinking about how to make the box. So again, let's go back to here. You see, this work plane is currently up here. Um, let's go make another box. Uh, bear with me, people who already know Modo about what I'm about to do. I'm doing it on purpose, honest. Right, so um, currently the working plane would mean if I clicked and drag in here, it's going to make it where this working plane is. 
Yeah, which is probably not what we want. We want it on the ground again. So let's undo that. Okay, what we're going to do is just rotate the viewport over until whoop, it snapped a Rooney. So click and drag. Uh, actually, click and drag. We decided we could call an item. So that now is back down on the ground. Okay. And what we're also going to do. Da -da 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 -da, going to shift A. Actually, we're not going to go into here. And we can see that we've got um, on the these little sort of areas here that don't show anything, they're click and drag areas for adding details. So let's go and add some detail. So we can have a chamfered box pretty simply. It says it's got radius segments is uh, 3 and the radius is 34.7 millimeters. We can type in what we want. You know what? Let's type in 1 inch. How about that? So currently working in millimeters. So I'm going to type 1 IN inch. All right, hit return. 2.5, 25.4 millimeters. Hey ho converts it for me. Don't have to set a units type. I can type it in whatever I want. How cool is that? Pretty cool. So we're currently still making this box, so let's go size it correctly. So it's a uh, one meter by one meter by one meter. There we go. And then we're going to undrop the tool. Cool. So now we have two boxes in the scene, don't we? Well, do we? So let's um, let's zoom back out a little bit. So if I've got on, if I'm in item mode and I'm going to go and select move, which is the W key, and I select this guy. Uh, let's have a look. Why have we not got the W keys on? Don't know. Ah, there we go. W key. Sorry, we had to be in view mode. So do we have one box? Nope, we have two. So why do we have two boxes? That's a bit odd, isn't it? Because if I do, let's just jump over to Max for a minute. If I make a box and click, click and click to make a box, and then I make another box, click, 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 click. Okay, and then if I go over here and I go and select a box, I am moving a box around, not because what we've got at the moment is moving two boxes around like that. So what's happening with that then? Well, over in Modo. We've only made one mesh item, we've, we've built two boxes inside that one mesh item. So what we really need to do is extract one of those out of it. And then what's what's happened in a way is how we've, how we've built this. Let's go and uh, right and click convert to edible poly. What we've sort of done is we've attached that to it. And that's what we've got in this viewport now. Go over here. So we've got that really. We've got one thing inside here. We really want um, two. So we've got elements. We've got one element in here and we've got the other element in here. So we need to uh, be careful how we build primitives. So if we keep on building, they'll all be inside this one mesh item. So we want to uh, move this one out, basically, and make its own separate object. So if you happen to do this by accident, how do we go and fix that? Can't be that hard, can it? So if we go to polygons and we select this polygon, we already know that if we go to select we can select connected, which is all of those are all of those polygons that are for that one box. So we select connected. We can then Control X to cut. So edit. Can we do a cut? We can do a cut. Okay. And then what we're going to do now is going to add an item, and we're going to add a mesh item, boing. And inside that item, we're going to go and hit Control V to paste it. Guess what? Got two items now. Woo! Only problem we've got currently with that. Let's, oh, the other thing is this is this like outline a list of thing. Let's go and hide that guy for the moment, and then this guy, let's go and center him up. So we're not going to center him. Actually, we are going to center him. So if we go to items, currently, press a W key. So his pivot points in the dead center. So we need to select. We need to move all these polygons to the center to center him. Not actually move the um, the object itself. So again, polygons, select a polygon, uh, right hand bracket to select all of them. Going to basic, go uh, center selected, all, clunk, and then uh, we'll call with that, blah blah blah. And currently how we're looking now in item mode, if we hit the uh, E key, is it's going to be working like that, which is all cool and groovy, control Z. W key. Move it up. 
There we go. I'm going to go and turn back the other mesh item back on. It's in exactly the same place. I'm going to move him to one side. And that's cool. And then, then this guy, let's drop that. This guy, uh, W key, move this guy up as well. So he's on the ground. Basically, there we go. Okay, so what we've got now is two objects. Yeah, and one of them, let's hit the zero key to maximize our viewport. One of them, oops, and control Z, uh, pan again. One of them's got sharp edges and one's got um, chamfered edges, and that is sort of that. And currently, they're both called mesh, so you could actually like rename these. So let's call this uh, box basic. We'll call this uh, box chamfered. And uh, how we do for time? We bad it, I think. So that will do for creation of boxes and how to uh, sort out their pivot points and things like that. Bit of a meandering video. wasn't quite as short as I wanted it to be, but hey ho, there you go. Uh, yeah, that'll have to do then. See you in a bit. Next video to explain a bit more things. Thank you.